we will start with a true-false question. The question name is displayed only to the teacher in the list of questions. Make this descriptive so you know exactly which question you are picking for your quiz. Then we add the question text. This is what the student sees. In this case, we are entering a true or false statement. As you have the full HTML editor for your question text, you can add images or coloured formatted fonts to your question. The default question grade can be overridden. For example, you may give two points for a difficult question. The penalty factor determines what fraction of the achieved score is subtracted for each wrong response. It is only applicable if the quiz is run in adaptive mode. General feedback is text which is shown after each question has been attempted. Unlike feedback for a specific question which depends on the response given, the same general feedback is always shown. Choose whether true or false is the correct answer. This is an important step. You can set specific feedback for each response. Scroll down and click Save Changes to create your question. You will then see the question details in a list. Let's create another question. This time we'll add a multiple choice question. Give it a descriptive name. Enter the question text. Decide on the question grade and penalty factor if it applies. Choose whether only one answer is correct or if multiple answers are correct and required. Choose whether the choices should be shuffled and how the choices are labelled. Then start entering the possible answers. I always enter the correct answer as my first one because the choices are shuffled for the students anyway. And that way I remember to give the correct answer the full grade. Incorrect answers are given no grade. You can give a very silly or wildly poor answer a negative grade. You can add more choices. Rather than setting feedback for every question individually, you can set feedback for any correct response, partially correct response, or incorrect response. Click Save Changes to create your question. Notice you can edit, preview, rearrange, or delete a question using the icons to the right of the question name. The icons to the left of the question name indicate what type of question it is. You could also import questions from another source. A large number of formats are available for importing questions. It is also possible to export questions from Moodle quizzes to other systems. Some common export formats are available. In fact, this might be useful if you want to share your questions with another organisation that uses Moodle. Most of the time though, you will be creating your own questions.